you are on an Adobe stock web page with a search for funny cats. The page displays several images of cats in humorous situations. From left to right, top to bottom. One, a cat peeking out of a cardboard box. Two, a cat wearing sunglasses with a colorful background. Three, a cat sitting inside a plastic container. Four, a cat holding a sign that says, I hate people in front of a height measurement chart. Five, a cat wearing sunglasses against a light blue background. There is also a cookie consent notice at the bottom of the page with options to enable all or don't enable cookies and a cookie settings button. Hi, I'm Matt from Elastic. I'm a solution architect at Elastic. And so I speak to a lot of people about building generative AI based search applications using Elastic but I'm also a volunteer um, on the Be My Eyes app. And I was really inspired by what they've been doing recently, uh, working with OpenAI uh, to create a virtual assistant within the app. And it really got me thinking about what this might mean for the future of web accessibility. So as you might have seen in the preview, um, I really wanted to build a little short experiment um, using a Chrome extension uh, that could start to uh, play around with using something like ChatGPT 4.0 um, as a web accessibility tool. So let me uh, jump into it and we'll do a slightly longer walkthrough. So um, I built a very simple Chrome extension, which can essentially uh, take a screenshot of the active tab and send that to ChatGPT 4.0. Um, and then we can also use the APIs for doing text to speech uh, and speech to text. Um, so you already heard the description, the general description of the whole page, but we could ask something that was more specific. So let's let's try that. Tell me more about the image of the cat against the height chart. And that's essentially going to screenshot the image again and send a, a specific question this time um, to get an answer. The image you referred to shows a cat standing in front of a height chart typically used for police mugshots. The cat has a stern expression and is holding a sign that reads, I hate people. The background features height markers ranging from 40 to 65, adding to the humorous effect of the mugshot concept. The overall tone of the image is playful and funny, playing on the idea of the cat being a criminal. What does this mean? I mean, this is a funny, funny little demo, but what if we applied this to something more operational? Why don't, what if we applied it to something like Elastic? So I built a, a RAG search application um, that I get to play around with calling LLMs and combining them with Elasticsearch. Um, but I also stream all the monitoring data of my demo into a separate Elastic cluster so I can monitor what the application is doing. So what does it look like if we ask uh, the extension to describe this page? Hi, how can I help? Okay, just give me a few seconds. This will take a little bit longer um, because it's gonna generate a fair amount of text about the page, which takes a little bit of time. Um, and then it has to actually uh, create the speech from that text, which again, takes a little bit of time, um, but it's within a reasonable amount of time. And what you'll see is you get a lot of context um, about, about the, uh, the web page that you're on. The page is a monitoring dashboard from Elastic. Here is a simple description of its main elements. One header shows options for settings, saving, sharing, and switching to view mode. There is a search bar to find apps, content, and more, modeled for Matt's monitoring cluster with unsaved changes indicated. Two, dashboard title. Editing benefits bot monitoring is displayed prominently. Three, main panel. RAG search app monitoring with a description of the dashboard's purpose, monitoring log data sent from the Elastic Powered RAG app. Four, visualization screens, multiple visual representations, including bar chart charts and pie charts that display various data. Count of records, 38, median of transaction duration, 4,163.41 mil in most. Contribution to data by user Alice, 26.32%, and Bob, 73.68%. Bar charts showing records over time and top values of host IPs. Audit log, lists queries with timestamp, service name, query details, user full name, and the corresponding replies. This dashboard helps in monitoring application performance and analyzing specific queries and data distributions over time. Now let's try asking something specific that wasn't in that description. What is the top host IP? 
And this will be a lot faster because it's not generating so much text. The top host IP is 107.178.238.211, as shown in the bar chart titled Top 5 Values of Host.IP on the Dashboard. So you can see that, I mean, it wasn't perfect, especially around the uh, transaction duration, um, but it opens up really interesting avenues, in my opinion, for how do we make these pages more accessible. This is a fairly simplistic approach. I'm literally just taking an image of the screen. I think if you could embed this into the browser or embed this into the web app, um, you would have a lot more control and you could maybe start linking this to actual actions. But that ability to give you a much higher level contextual view of the web page, I think is incredibly powerful and something that's worth exploring. So I hope hopefully this was interesting. Um, and hopefully this sparks some ideas in, in others about how to improve uh, web accessibility. Thank you.